Hello everyone, my name is Lalit Soni and you are watching In Focus by Drishti IES. In this episode of In Focus, we will be talking about a question which has been asked in the public domain that is, can Pani Puri cause cancer? So basically this question has been raised because in Karnataka there are various uh, incidents which has happened and because of which there has been this complaint which has been filed saying that there are various uh, you can say incidents of diarrhea and vomitings etc after taking certain particular kind of food and because of which the food safety body of Karnataka has gone for the various uh, testing of samples and then they have come up with a certain uh, you can say ban or the regulations of these coloring agents okay so let's start in this episode We will be discussing this article which has been taken from Indian Express which is saying that why Karnataka is cracking down on vendors of Pani Puri and the Gobi Manchurian. Okay, so let's start. In today's discussion, we will talk about first the news and then we will talk about the background and then we will come up with the statewide crackdown. We will be talking about the state of Karnataka over here. Okay, and then harmful impacts of the coloring agent and the effect. We will see why these coloring agents are being used in this particular food and then what are the, uh, you can say, impact of these food which is uh, there on the human body. Afterwards, we will be talking about the legal actions against this FBO that is food business organizations. Okay, so let's start. So the news is basically as I told you that in July 2024, Karnataka's food safety body food uh, found carcinogen carcinogenic agents in the uh, you can say food or this particular uh, pani puri and the manchurians okay so basically they have found the carcinogenic agents that is that means that those agents which can cause cancer okay second thing is they have also found harmful bacteria which can be having a negative impact on the human body okay so because of which this particular uh, thing was in news now what is the background so multiple complaint has been uh, filed of vomiting diarrhea and other health issues prompted the food safety department to act against the unhygienic practices which has been followed by the food business operators okay so basically you know that when we are talking about the informal sector in india there are various uh, you can say uh, food business organizations are there then when we are talking about some of the you know big restaurant etc even in them there are certain practices which are unhygienic Otherwise, also if we see at the you know street food etc, they are uh, you know uh, serving the food in very unhygienic conditions, and because of which there are chances that you can fall ill or you can have some kind of negative impact on the food you intake. Okay, based on these particular complaints, the food safety body of Karnataka has gone for the scrutiny. Okay, now coming to the next part here, statewide crackdown. So as we are talking about the Karnataka's food safety department. Okay, so they have actually gone for the certain kind of sample taking and then they have actually uh, been, they have been uh, you know targeting the street food samples like Gobi Manchurian and Pani Puri because of these complaints they have you know taken certain nearly 4000 samples from the uh, street foods okay Pani Puri, Gobi Manchurian etc and they have gone for the survey of that okay. The focus is on banning the artificial food coloring and other harmful substances by the food business organization. So there are certain, uh, you know, these, uh, you can say we have ready culture, we have other uh, street foods, etc. So basically they are using these artificial agents in the food, like they can be coloring food for the taste, etc. So if you are going for the juice, etc., they are also, uh, you know, uh, using these artificial agents in that. And in when we are talking about the Gobi Manchurian, etc., they are using the uh, these agents for the color, color, or you can say dark color of the Gobi Manchurian. So otherwise also they are using this for the color and the taste and these things can be having a negative impact on your body. So basically this particular food safety bodies are trying to eliminate this artificial color and they are trying to ban it. Okay. Now over the past five months, 4,000 food, uh, food sample has been collected. This action was taken following numerous reports of unhygienic practices, which we have already discussed. Now we will be discussing about the harmful coloring agents and their effects. So basically when we are talking about these coloring agents, so we have seen that there are uh, cancers which has been caused by these. So there can be cancer, there can be diabetes, there can be kidney failures, other complications can also be there. When we are talking about the uh, these particular artificial agents over here, uh, there is a detailed picture over here. So there are certain uh, artificial coloring agents which has been identified like uh, Tartrazy, uh, Sunset Yellow, uh, Rhodamine B and Brilliant Blue. Okay. So there are certain uses of these particular chemicals over here you can see. Uh, when we are talking about the tart, uh, tartrazine that is uh, food coloring and the cosmetics it is used okay but there are certain negative impacts as well so these negative impacts are like it can cause allergic reactions and the hyperactivities in the children okay 
so that is one thing second coming to the sunset yellow okay so it is used in the food coloring obviously one thing is common that is food coloring then second is in the medication as well okay but if doses are no, not right okay so in that case there can be allergic reaction potential to cause uh, adrenaline tumors okay so that is second thing coming to the next one here uh, rhodomine b so in the textile dye it is uh, when we are talking about the textile dyes it is used for them and then fluorescent tracers okay if you have uh, gone to uh, any kind of uh, museum or let's say uh, airplane you will find that there are certain strips which are used for the uh, you can say navigation these are basically your uh, fluorescent uh, you can say uh, strips so these are basically used for the tracing the you know or tracing or the navigation etc then it can have eye damage it can be you can say harmful for your rest, uh, respiratory tracts etc so it can cause respiratory respiratory tract uh, infections okay or irritations as well so that is about the rhodomine b coming to the next one that is brilliant blue food coloring and the laboratory stress it is used for and when we are talking about the negative impact here you can see allergic reaction can be there potential to cause digestive issues okay so that is about these four uh, you can say agents which are currently being used in the food industry so you can go through this particular table or you can take a screenshot okay so now moving further next is basically legal action against the fbo okay so food business organizations which are serving such uh, you can say artificial agents for against them if you have to take any kind of action what will be the procedure etc when we are talking about this particular fbo right now karnataka's as i told you state uh, uh, a food safety body is basically taking care of it so to take legal, legal action against the fbo uh, selling unsafe food items the food safety department has collected two kind of samples okay one is your survey sample second is your legal sample survey sample is one on which testing is performed okay so when we are talking about the survey uh, samples first collects the test and uh, collect and test a survey sample from the fbo okay and fbo uh, let's say this particular uh, you know uh, uh, any platform which is serving you food they have taken uh, one fold uh, particular uh, you can say sample and they have gone for the test for it now if this sample is found to be unsafe then four more sample will be taken now this first sample which they have taken that was a survey sample okay now four other samples will be taken if that first sample was uh, tested to be positive for any kind of uh, you can say unhygienic product or the practice in that case they will go for the four more samples these four more samples are called as the legal samples okay and they are collected from the fbo concerned and then sent to the central food technological research institution cftri for the further testing so simply first they will go and take one sample if that sample is found positive for any kind of uh, you know uh, less hygienic or any kind of uh, uh, you can say use of agent which is uh, having any kind of negative impact on the human body in that case if that sample is tested positive four more samples will be taken from that and those four sample will be sent to the central food technological research institution and then they will wait for the result if the report also deems the sample unfit for the human consumption the, then fbo is booked for under the food safety act okay we have a food safety act okay now if we uh, if the four more sample which has been taken and they are also uh, you know considered that uh, in the report it is considered that they are not safe for the human consumption and that case that uh, fbo will be booked under the food safety act now a convicted fbo may face fine up to 10 lakh rupees and imprisonment for like nearly seven years okay so that is about these food uh, business organizations which can be booked for at least 10 lakh rupees of fine and imprisonment okay so that is about this particular legal action which can be taken against the fbos okay now moving to the last part that is basically your taxation before that i would like to tell you that uh, considering in this particular video what we have discussed that first that uh, can pani puri or any kind of street food can cause cancer or not so yes there are certain uh, artificial agents which are used for the coloring etc they are not uh, you know pretty safe for your uh, human body so there are uh, you know chances that it can cause some kind of harm okay so considering that there are uh, you know surveys which has been done and uh, we are trying to eliminate these artificial coloring uh, agents so that we, the, the food can be safe for the human consumption okay now coming to the practice question what is uh, what is one of the primary use of rhodamine b outside food products for when we are talking about the rhodamine b we have seen that it is the agent which has been used in the food that is an artificial agent now other than that what is the use of this okay flavor enhancer uh, textile dye preservative and thickening agent okay so you can attempt this question and answer in the comment box okay with that i would like to take your leave if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it have a nice day thank you
For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.